So who remembers this piece from last week's video? It's not the most fun part of resin art, but it does happen. And in my case, I think I know why. You see, I meddled with this piece and resin likes to be left alone to cure in peace. And if you bother it, it doesn't like it. And I remember coming back after about an hour or two after pouring and I noticed a bubble right in the center. Instead of leaving well alone, as you should always do, I took out my torch lighter and I zapped it. So I must have bothered it at the sort of crucial stage of curing and it didn't appreciate the extra heat. But lesson learnt, leave curing resin well alone. But there is a way you can smooth away the wrinkles and that's by sanding. Um, unfortunately, you cannot just sand resin and hope for the best. You have to start with the lowest grit you can get away with and then work your way up. So you'll need an orbital sander, a spray bottle of water and then a selection of sandpaper right up to 10,000 grit. I found a method to partially sand from a 3,000 grit up to a 7,000 grit. Then cut and polish and a buff and that gives me beautiful results. In this case the wrinkles are not deep so I can get away with starting from a 3,000 grit. But if the damage is deeper on your piece, you may need to start off with a thousand or even a 800 grit. My advice is to start off with the highest you can, sand, and if the marks are gone, you can work your way up to the final polish. So it's not really as complicated as it seems, it's just more like a bit of elbow grease. That's the hardest part. But you know, the results are worth it and it's so much faster than sanding down and then adding another layer of top coat. I'm attempting a 3000 grit on the sander to see if the marks will disappear and in this case the wrinkles were gone on the first pass but when you sand resin it does lose its shine so to get back that initial shine or close to it you will need to change and increase the sandpaper discs with each pass. I'm moving on to a 4000 grit on the sander and for some reason this pack that I bought did not come with a 6000 grit. Not sure why bought them from Amazon. So I moved from 4,000 to 5,000 and then I had to jump to 7,000, but it seemed to do the job just fine. So you can go up to a 10,000 grit, which I do have, but uh, generally if I like the results at seven or 8,000, I'll normally just stop there. Make sure you spray enough water onto the resin before sanding. So obviously I'm using polishing sandpaper that's made for use with water. It's important that you wipe down the resin surface before sanding with a paper towel or a microfiber cloth. This will avoid any debris marking the surface on your next pass. So as I mentioned before, it's really important to spray down the piece well with some water. The more water, the better. And keep spraying as you're rotating. So just keep regularly spraying the top of the resin piece, wiping down and then respraying. So you can see that we're getting there with the shine. It's coming back and that's just on 5,000. So I've had to jump up to the 7,000 as I mentioned before. But after I've done this one, I could see much of my design inside, all the flowers really stood out and the shine was really great. So I just stopped there. But obviously you can go up to a 10,000 if you really want an extra pop of shine on your resin piece. So at this point, I'm really happy with the results. I can see none of the marks they're all gone they've all been sanded away and i've got a pretty clear transparent resin so now i am going to swap over to my buffing kit and i've also bought this from amazon um, they're all scratched so they go straight onto my orbital sander and i am using a cut and finish and i've used the the highest five out of five that i could find once again on Amazon, or you can buy it from your local DIY store or even your car sales store or whatever they call those places where you buy um, equipment for your car because um, this is something that you use on the bonnet of your car. And I know this because my husband told me. Um, I've also bought this sandpaper drill adapter and I got that from Amazon too. That's in case you don't have one of these um, orbital sanders. Not everybody has one and these attach to it in the same manner and they are the same size. So I am choosing the heavy cut polishing pad to start with and I am selecting the drill bit there so it's the highest speed on my driller and you can basically go for maybe a, I would say up to a minute. 
um, but this causes the resin to really heat up and I would say that when you can start to feel it heat up you can stop and let it cool down a bit and this really does give an extra buff and shine and gets rid of um, any last scratches that your sander may have um, produced because it does somehow produce very 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 fine lines but not enough to really ruin your piece on the contrary so I'm ending with a light cut buffing pad this is included in the same pack that I bought and this will get rid of any last cut and polish product from the resin surface and this is the moment where you just think to yourself oh thank goodness I've got it back to what it should look like and it's a big relief so this is my quick well it's not too quick but it's what I consider the easiest way to um, get rid of any of your marks on the top of your resin. You could always do a top coat, but you'd still have to sand it down. So I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful and uh, don't give up on your projects. If ever there's a problem with it, try this method out first. It doesn't require a lot of investment and most of us have a driller at home. Um, you might just have to buy a couple of pads. Wishing you all a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.